Next, let's now talk about apps. Guys, so today is all about the apps. In other words, it's an app bonanza episode. Of course, everybody uses an app on their phone. Yeah, that's what makes a phone a phone, right? Without an app, it's not a smartphone. We have apps for everything. And so today, we're talking about apps. Before we introduce the apps that we have, though, let's go around and uh, talk about the importance of apps. Fee, how important are apps in your life? Oh, very. I'm always using apps to get uh, groceries, occasionally takeaway if I treat myself, taxis, Facebook, Twitter. Oh, I can't even think of them all. There's so many. There's even an app for um, for women to know where you are in your menstrual cycle and what moods you can expect and things like that. And there's various medical apps with information, loads for shopping, Kindle. Uh, for books and Audible, for audiobooks, library apps. Oh, there's so many. They're brilliant. And, um, and of course, if you have a phone and you don't have the apps, you might be a bit unhappy. So in reality, though, you know, listening to you, I, I'm kind of beginning to wonder, how did we ever live without apps, you know? <laughs> <laughs> just imagine there's just about everything under the sun. There's an app for everything out there. Uh, I mean, talking about medical stuff, talking about women's stuff, and talking about, uh, you know, whether you're a drinking guy or whatever, there's an app for that. So <laughs> yeah, I expect there are beer apps, yes, and wine yeah. apps. And actually, when I moved to London, I downloaded <laughs> a Best Coffee app and found one of my favorite cafes on there. You know, there's apps for so many things um good food guides type no what's it called mobile food guide or something i don't know i don't use that one but some people do and then there's things like tripadvisor and yell.com and then of course as blind people we've got some great apps like um you know lazarillo for helping you with navigation and google maps where you know we can tell sighted drivers the directions um I did that last Saturday, actually, on the way to the party, um, because uh, in London, they're often changing the layouts of roads. And he said, oh, I can't go the way I used to go a couple of years ago. So um, I used Google Maps. And yeah, what did we do? Well, I suppose people had to actually read maps who could see, I guess. And uh, you'd read more books on because some of the apps are sort of information type ones, aren't they? Um, I think apps have revolutionised life for us as blind people because a lot of the stuff we get on apps now would have been in paper form before or in the newspaper or magazines and we wouldn't have been able to read it. And I've been to various restaurants before and been able to find their menu through something like the Deliveroo app or similar, you know. Um, so I think... Uh, Certainly as blind blind people, I think we're better off having lots of apps. And they can often be easier than the websites as well, because a lot of websites are really cluttered with adverts and loads of rubbish. All I can say, Fee, is amen and more amen to that, most especially when it comes to us as blind people. I can't tell you how much of a change in my life um, as a result of these apps, they've made a lot of difference in my life because things that I could not do, and I also agree with you that actually it's easier for me to use an app than going to a website. I mean, it's just right there, and it's, websites are sometimes a little bit too cluttered for my liking. So if I can find an app to use, I would rather use an app than use a website. So definitely there with you. Yeah, I mean, some apps are horrible and you can't use them, and that's annoying. But quite <laughs> yeah. often, there's there's good ones. And I'm um, I'm training to be a, a Methodist preacher, and I'm doing a sermon on the 29th. And there there are apps for um, you know to show you what the readings for the day are and uh, the on, from the lectionary and and things like that. Um, it's really handy. I agree, Austin. Let's talk about your world. Uh, how about apps in your life? So apps uh, like uh, Android or any smartphone platform without apps, like living with uh, Nokia 
3300 series phone so without apps we cannot do anything i would suggest that okay if there were no apps we could get by with getting sighted help somehow but the most uh, difficult part will be medical uh, like fitness apps and all those things that will be impossible for us to do because getting i mean you can get sighted help to read the screens but to measure things it is not possible so apps are really very important especially the medical apps are more important than others even others are important but the medical ones are irreplaceable irreplaceable you know it's interesting you mention you know the Nokia 33 or whatever and i think that sometimes what comes to mind is that uh, what you don't know doesn't hurt you so i think the reason why we were able to live without apps is because we never knew that such a thing could do such a thing and now that we know it then it will become virtually impossible to not have those things you know most especially you know as a blind person if you live alone you have those apps that can read your mail and things like that so i mean just imagine now that you know of all of this and then someone says i'm going to snuff that out how to find something and pinch that person's head off you know <laughs> don't take away my freedom because now that i've gained that freedom my eyes are open so to speak and i want to be able to have those eyes still open dog how about you i mean for me basically apps are pretty much life because well, like austin and fibo said the medical aspect is pretty huge like i because of an app i have constant communication with me, my medical team so for me that's absolutely massive but i also find that i use the apps on my phone more often for professional purposes whether it's doing minor tweaking within my um my microsoft office business license or whether i'm creating user accounts for new employees so on that perspective i wouldn't be able to remotely work as easily if it wasn't for those apps on my phone so for me like personal and professional use apps have really revolutionized our productivity and what we're capable of doing basically at any point we're no longer tied to you know that we can only do something uh work related 8 to 5 monday to friday Sometimes you have to you know work a little bit late, a little bit early or on weekends and the apps on our phone actually now allow us to be able to do that. It's interesting you talked about that remote thing cam because that's very important. I mean, and then covid changed our lives and to where those things have taken on a more prominent uh, feature in our lives, most especially the tools that we use. And you know talking about that I'm kind of thinking about how it used to be back in the day you know you have a pen pal somewhere and you need to write on paper and send it out there and now we have things like email and all of that but then most importantly you can actually get to see that person if you have the eyesight to see that person so you can see if um if you're so into looks or whatever if that's the person you wanted to go out with if that's the kind of thing that turns you on whatever the case may be but just imagine that we can talk face to face and like we're doing right now uh doing this uh recording of this episode you are out there in Canada Fee is there in London I'm here in Washington state and Austin there in India and boy we come together so through the power of an app we are able to do this thing and it's life changing because all of a sudden we feel closer to each other <laughs> than we were before you know yeah. going across the seas that will take months and months or days and days to get there and just in an instant here we are my knucklehead is talking to you <laughs> and we are having a conversation unbelievable i really love it and you guys know me as the app junkie i just have so many apps i love 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 apps i i don't know what i'll do if there were no apps but of course like i said earlier on it's probably because i've been introduced to those things and if i didn't know probably it wouldn't have hurt me would it i love messaging apps as well 
uh, things like WhatsApp, Telegram, that type of app, because um, you can send, like back in the day, if you had, if you were blind and you had a sighted um, pen pal, you'd, you'd probably send each other tapes if, you know, if you weren't both Braille readers. And now uh, on these messaging apps, you can just send little clips. So quite often when my mum and dad are by the sea, they'll record a little a clip of the sea and um you know my my dad stepping through the pebbles or something and it's all it's like an accessible postcard for 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 a blind person because it's sound as well and that's really nice and there's so many apps where you can i mean we're talking on google meet and okay we pay a subscription per month but we're not tied to you know, we're not each paying per minute like we used to back in the day for, for phone calls when it used to be really expensive. And you can do that on so many apps, have having calling each other functions and conference functions. And it's amazing, really, what you can do. If someone had said that 20 years ago, we could do all this stuff. I don't think we'd have believed them, would we? Especially from a mobile phone rather than a computer. We would have told them, get out of here. Yeah, we would. <laughs> get out of here. Uh, but now look at what we are doing. It's just absolutely beautiful. So with that, though, we want to move on to some of the apps that we have for you guys today. I know you guys have been asking us to do apps. And I think from now on, maybe every quarter we'll do an app bonanza. And so starting for this quarter, we're going to start with three apps we got. LinkedIn and Ed is here to talk about LinkedIn. Ed, take it away with LinkedIn. 